Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, hey doc, what are these fleshy things right up here? And what's that fleshy thing under my tongue? Right there. So what are they? Well, they're called frenulums or frenums. I've seen them written in both ways, uh, in different books and articles and all over the place, even in dictionaries. And what they are physically is bands of muscle and connective tissue all put together that connects these kind of free tissues, uh, like that, um, basically connects them to the gum or bone or something solid. So that's what they are physically. Now, again, what they're doing is restricting or controlling motion of these otherwise free moving tissues. Uh, so uh, they control a little bit of the lip, they control a little bit of the tongue. Um, so that's what physically they are and what physically they do. Now, uh, one thing that's important to know is that, for example, for the lingual freedom, right there, um, that one, if it is a little bit too close to the tip of the tongue, can result in something called tongue-tied. And you've probably heard that term where a baby is tongue-tied or a child is tongue-tied or somebody even in adulthood is tongue-tied. Well, the way to change that is to snip it. That is a surgeon or whomever decides to do it can cut that. Um, and that way it frees up the tongue uh, for proper nutrition because that can become a nutritional problem, possibly even a speech problem, depending. So. That's what's done. Now, when it comes to other freedoms, for example, the one right up here, right up front, or one down here, mine might not be all that distinct, they're there, but there are other people that have much stronger ones and ones that are attached actually right here, right between the front two teeth, like really close to the front two teeth. And what that can do is, in the case of the upper, it can actually prevent the front two teeth, big adult teeth, from being together. So it could be an aesthetic concern. For some people it's not. Uh, but for some people it is. It leads to the formation of what's called a diastema, or a space between two teeth, in this case the front teeth. Uh, and again, that could be an orthodontic issue due to aesthetics. Um, it can potentially be a function issue, but not so much. Usually it's more of an aesthetics issue. Uh, and the lower, though, um, when you're discussing the freedom on the bottom, which is attached between the front two lower teeth, if that's too close to those teeth, it can actually pull the gum tissue away from the teeth, leading to more significant recession um, and exposing the root surfaces of those teeth and possibly requiring surgery not just to move the freedom attachment, but also then to add tissue or gum tissue to cover the roots of the, the exposed roots of those teeth. Um, so there can be little issues here and there uh, with the freedom, frenulum, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, surgery is an option, uh, certainly in order to resolve them and maybe necessary for certain treatments in order to resolve the problem. Um, but you're going to want to consult with your dentist uh, oral surgeon or even a plastic surgeon in the cases of tongue tie for very, very young kids or infants. Um, and that way you can together come up with a plan to uh, treat whatever needs to be treated. So uh, that said, hopefully that has explained to you what they are. Now they can be found elsewhere in the mouth, so sometimes they can be in the back of the mouth, uh, but they're typically not as big a deal uh, in the back as they are in on the front ones. And that's why I wanted to mainly focus on the upper front, lower front, and the tongue. So, all right, appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.